This is my wife, Kelsey. She was once a common 30 student, but since it's been a while, I'm going to explain the steps of the critique. So first, for step one, you're going to just observe this for, for 30 seconds. Um, you're not going to say anything, though. You're just going to sit there and observe. And then, um, step two, you're going to share your reactions with me about about the uh, about the flyer and everything. We'll start with positive, and then we can um, get into the nitty gritty of it. Sure you're okay. Then we'll analyze the message, see if the message is clear and if it's addressing the audience that it needs to be. And then also you can critique the design, like the typography and the shapes and everything like that. Okay. Sounds good. Great. Okay, so so what do you like about the design or the uh, flyer? Um, I liked that my eye went right to your your photo and your your banner that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that you paired those together into kind of like a header because sometimes the the photo and your title can. Be competing for attention, and I like that you put them together, and it's a really nice focal point. Um, any other opinions? Um, this, do you like the picture that I used? Yeah, I don't know what other ones you could have used, yeah. but I like this one. I like that it's cropped out, and I like that you have. Really nice contrast between your title and the gradient in the box that you used is really subtle and it's not too much and it looks like it really does belong with the picture. So they're pretty cohesive. Okay. Um, so then, so my message basically um, to my audience right now, well, my audience is college graduates, obviously. Um, who are looking for a competitive edge in business, obviously, um, and kind of giving them just a little jump start. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I know what it's for right away, and yeah. so I'm not trying to figure out what it is the whole time. I and you need. understand, like, the event that they have to attend? Uh-huh. Yep. Your title's pretty straightforward, so it says it really well. I know what it's supposed to be about, and if I were to walk by it, just like the Graduate Leadership Conference, it stands out and the people in it just look like they're graduates and so... Mm -hmm. We just kind of talked about the message yeah. a little bit already, mm -hmm. but... Um, so what about like the, the body copy down here then? So like if, if you were to come across the main focal point and everything like that here at the top, well, it would be your banner and stuff. Um, my eyes kind of go from the banner and then they go up to where it says, do you want to have the competitive edge in business? Mm -hmm. And then I go back down to the, to the body copy at the bottom. I don't know if you'd want it to be more fluent and have that sentence. I don't know if it's better to have the sentence above the picture or below the picture. Like, mm -hmm. it's nice to yeah. have something breaking up the text. But I'm not sure if I so like. So I could, so I could move this down. Yeah, you could, but I don't know. Brother Kimball might like it if that you have it that you're trying to break up the text more. But mm -hmm. at the same time, also might want it to be more fluent, so that I'm not looking at the title and then I have to go up and then back down. And I want see. it to be more. Okay. I more see. Like cool. I like that you have. Um, 
the branding down the corner and then it's not too big. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need that there to communicate to the audience of like what it's for and who's throwing it, but it's good that it's not overshadowing. Could it be the smaller? Body. You could probably even make it a little smaller if you wanted. Yeah. But I think it's okay how it is now, but okay. it could also be smaller. Okay. Good. How about the white space? Well, she was still on the mess. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so how do you like the uh, the design of everything here then? Do you like the white space? Or like where is the white space in this design? Well, you'll see it when you look at it while we do the cookie. The white space is along the right side in here. Uh -huh. Beside the text. And so it's a good amount of white space, and it's not leaving the design feeling empty. Huh. Um, Is it too much? Oh, no, it's definitely not too much. It's a really good amount. And I like that you didn't center align everything, and I like that you have all of the text in it aligned along the left-hand side, and that it's all on the same. Does that look off, too? Oh, question right there. It might be shifted a little too far over to the left, but it's really, really minimal. Really so that's something that's going to fix. I'm not, I like how you have the different body copies. You have a slab serif and a sand serif to try to compete against each other, which is good. Um, your body copy looks like it was a pretty good choice, but it's not too hard to read, and it's a good size. What size did you use? So this is 10 for the for this right here, uh -huh. but then like just become how we learn in the date time and place. Like, yeah, it's good that you have hierarchy going on so that it's not all the same and you have certain points that you want to stick out more. Mm -hmm. and so that's good. I like that part. And I like that you made the date and time a little bit bigger so that it doesn't Sure, Real quick, did I follow all the fire design requirements as well? The text is all aligned, the user logo, but not for the title. One proportional mm -hmm. image, you got it. So does the hyphens. You have a widow right here. Oh, I do have a widow right there, don't I? So you need okay, to so click that. that, and then you can do your marking. Perfect. 